Hey guys, welcome back to Capital Gains 500. And today we have the next childhood prodigy, the next EV praise child, the new cool kid in the block. Apparently his name is Candy, Candy Technologies. Damn, all right. Let's get started. Candy Technologies has been trading pretty sideways for the last couple of weeks, months, trading a little bit of stat, ooh, choppy, choppy, choppy. But you know, I would say overall very stagnant sideways between a range of three to $5 at most. And then today, today, out of any other day, it shot up from $4 all the way to as high as 10, but it's currently trading at $9.73, 78 cents in the after hours. Huge monumentous gains, not 100, 140%. And what is Candy, first of all? Candy is another EV stock. They make electric vehicles. But the cool thing that I like about them that I read about in their about section <laughs> is that they also make tractors. That's so cool. And tricycles. Yeah, that's cool too. Um, electric tractors, electric tricycles. So a lot of e a couple of EV vehicles. So not just exactly cars. It's very low key on Robinhood, only having 13,000 investors. And they must be very happy because they made some huge gains today. I applaud them. How did they find candy? I don't know. I had no insight of candy. Today it just popped up on the radar on top movers. Now it's passing $10. $10. Oh my gosh. It's going crazy. The stock is still trading heavily in the after hours. If we check out Yahoo Finance and to try to get a little deeper sense of what the heck is going on, why Candy Technology soared today, it is because Kande is going to start offering vehicles in the U.S. I was like, whoa, okay, okay, you know, I understand that. They're already here. They're going to start selling them. They're already in production. That they, that delivery should be in the last quarter of 2020. And I was like, well, that's understandable. I see that they're actually, they were just making moves and they, and they dropped the ball. Like, hey, we're ready. Compared to other EV stocks, we're like, yeah, we want to. Nicola, you poo-poo head. Yeah, our cars Ooh. are ugly. Solo, you weird ass heck car. This isn't that lovely. This ain't no Mercedes or anything. But whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we got a Toyota logo on? on it okay candy nice nice logo i think their car looks funky it looks cool but if you compare it to the bmw i8 you know at the end of the day i seen people on the freeway uh, with an i8 so i wouldn't be too surprised okay. to see someone with a candy especially depending if they're very affordable so today candy technologies announced that they're gonna have a press conference soon a virtual press conference with the ability to pre-order uh, for a hundred dollar deposit it's refundable so you know they're heading in the right direction but the thing that i like most about them is that they are like they're coming they're coming they're already here they're established also here in the u.s maybe very low-key apparently their headquarters is in texas which i did not know that i just did this research uh right before i'm making this video to you know try to bring it to you guys as quick as possible see if this is going to be the next golden child tell you guys my thoughts where i think it's going to go i feel like this is the first wave of it making moves i believe that tomorrow it's going to make another couple of waves uh with just a couple of investors their market cap is currently at half a billion compared to other ev stocks that are in already in the billions without even vehicles like that's insane so candy technologies has a chance to a fighting chance to get up there with the big boys again it's a chinese company but they're already here in the u.s so for that reason you know it's okay it's okay you know uh that's that was my big problem with neo it's that they couldn't compete in the U.S. because they weren't in the U.S. But Candy's already here. I have no issues with that. I'm just like, all right, Candy, come on, bring in your A-game. Let some investors actually like profit and take off because like you actually have a fighting chance. You got some decent cars. I mean, um, not the best looking car, but it's still a nice car. Better In my opinion, it kind of even looks better than the I-8 as long as it's affordable. You guys make tractors? Like, can I buy a tractor instead? Honestly, very cool things that are coming on with Candy. The virtual presentation is going to be be on August 18th at 10 a.m. Central Time. So um, people are going to be able to see where they're headed. Probably they're going to show some advanced technology features of their K27 and K23 models. And like I said, that you'll be able to pre-order them. Priced at 13000 after tax credit. Okay, this, you know, this is some moves. Not the greatest driving range, but for the price tag, ooh, very little. I, I work from home. I would want a car, you know, where, you know... <sighs> it does you know this actually fits into my lifestyle like i don't need a whole bunch of miles i have a gas car in case um but then if i have an electric car priced at thirteen thousand dollars just to take me up and down and oh my gosh you know this is pretty cool it's thirteen thousand and the other one the k23 um a small suv being around twenty three thousand dollars i really gotta see this with the with the mile range of 180 you know i really really gotta see this so i will be keeping you guys updated 
with how the virtual event goes, what's happening with their stock. Should we invest in it? I am doing an EV challenge. So maybe tomorrow we'll purchase that. Maybe by the end of the week when my first round of, of my challenge is done uh, of buying $100,000 in EV stocks, I will be adding candy and that will be uh, an upcoming video. So be subscribed for that video, guys. Be, be subscribed. That's it. The next golden EV child, let me know in the comments down below. If you would like to see the charts like this with, with me, check out the link in the description. There's Weeble. Get two free stocks when you deposit $100. Weeble is great. Look, look, you can see the changes, the graphs, the EMAs, the moving averages, a lot of indicators to help you be a better investor. So I would really suggest you check out Weeble. Uh, link in the description once again. Ooh, I think tomorrow it's going to go higher. I do think. I'm always surprised. That's just me. I'm always surprised. It can't go any higher, but it does. <laughs> I'm like the opposite of most investors. I'm just like, it can't go any higher. And it does. And there's other investors who are like, it can't go any lower. And it does. So I'm very horrible. I'm, I'm pretty bad at choosing the top. Like this is, I'm like, yeah, this is a good range between five to nine dollars. Very drastically, I would actually shrink it into a fair price now following through between six dollars and fifty cents to eight dollars and fifty cents i feel like this is a nice range where the stock should be priced but again there there is this um the stock market is full of emotions i will not be surprised to see it trading higher tomorrow as much as let me show you guys my new range of where i think it could go um this is twelve dollars but we're we're gonna be off the charge so let's go into the day one you <laughs> look at that wow wow amazing i wouldn't be surprised to see it as much as anywhere between 10 to 15 dollars easily which if it's currently trading at 975 nine you know or almost ten dollars uh 15 dollars a new stock price would be a 50 percent gain and again i'm always surprised with how high it can really go but be careful i think if it hits this range it'll start soon coming down into this range buy on the news sell on the facts so once we get like oh yeah here are the cars people are probably gonna sell off so be careful you know august 11th is a couple of days away i think it's two weeks so so the stock is going to be hot in this range in my opinion for these days right here we'll put red for hot i think it's going to be very volatile <laughs> here and then once we actually get the cars and see the announcement and all the news i think then it's going to calm down and then it's going to be trading in this new range right here after the news so be careful it might shoot up again again i'm very bad at calling the tops i always think that that's it it can't go higher be careful and it goes higher so i think it'll be in this um black square range but all for these hot days right here and then once we get the drop on here are the cars here are the the numbers and then the stock will go back between um i don't want to be that i mean i think between five dollars to seven dollars um but we'll see we'll see this is just my initial predictions what the heck is going on i hope you guys enjoyed this video bringing some light into what the heck is candy candy technologies it's another ev stock company cars but they're actually making moves the fact that they're going to announce the car we're going to be ready for pre-orders we should be ready by the end of 2020 wow i'm impressed by that i'm not impressed by yeah look at our futuristic car yeah look at our grocery car um you know yeah we want to create these cars we want to create these cars i can create so many things too on paper and give you renderings but you know to actually make moves and you know actually gain you know the trust of investors a whole bunch of investors uh, it, it's a tough work and these guys have been under the radar never heard about them before but i hope like now you know they actually follow through on their promise again i'm seeing a, a looking toyota car bmw i8 is it the i8 or i3 what have I been saying the whole time? I3 competitor. Damn. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me let me know. Um, are you going to purchase some candy? Are you thinking about it? Are you going to stay away from it? Are you going to let it calm down? Are you done with EV stocks? Let me know in the comments down below. Your feedback is very important to me. And with that, um, remember to subscribe before you click off. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. Godspeed indeed. Vehicle pitching downrange.